Hello my fellow adventurers, welcome back to Living the Grand Adventure. My name is Kevin. Today I'm out in the woods. I'm back at Zaleski State Forest. I'm going to hike in. I'm hoping to do three nights depending on the weather. I've already had to change my itinerary. If you notice, if you've seen this on the channel, this is actually the Hope Schoolhouse entrance. I was planning on doing the furnace entrance, but it is actually underwater just a touch. There's been some uh, severe storms in the area over the last couple of days calling for more going forward <laughs> so they don't recommend you park in that area if there's a chance of flooding uh, check the weather there is actually a flood watch aerial flood warning whatever it's called in the area right now so I went ahead and parked at the Hope School entrance and now I'm climbing this big incline you guys may have to bear with me over the next day or so I've actually had strep <laughs> up until well, I'm probably still got it right now, but felt pretty bad yesterday. I was actually supposed to come out to do this yesterday, but gave it another day of rest and hopefully recuperation. And here I am today in the heat, <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy a backpacking trip. I haven't had one in a while. I'm going to take you guys along. I hope you enjoy it, but I'm going to try to knock this elevation out. I'm not going to talk too much because I'm going to be winded doing it. I can already feel it just where I've been sick. All right, guys, got up that hill. It's about the first half a mile or so from the Hope Schoolhouse entrance. And then you get on a flat area, very similar to this here. Been on this flat for about three, four minutes. So I figure, good time to start recording. Not quite so out of breath. Yeah, just having strep. This has been interesting trying to get out here and go up that hill, <clears throat> but I'm doing it. And now I'm flat, so that definitely helps. The rest of the way to Site 1 is pretty easy going from here. As long as there's not a lot of mud due to all the rain they've had. Uh, they saw about three quarters of an inch of rain last night, so I figure the trail will be muddy in spots. And they are calling for some rain tonight. And generally over the next two to three days, off and on rain. Just not quite as bad as last night. Back at home, we actually were under a tornado watch last night and then a tornado warning and our sirens were going off. There were tornadoes in the area. Once again, that's like the third time in about two to three weeks that we've had some amount of tornado activity near us. So it's been a fun spring. <laughs> Really wasn't expecting this. They were calling for possible scattered showers and tea storms throughout the day. Uh, possibly cloudy most of the day. It's been sunny. I mean, even the drive here, it was sunny. And that's been enjoyable, especially after the weather that we've been seeing here in Ohio. I was ready to have the rain gear pulled out and everything. So <laughs> didn't have to do that today so far. And that's been nice. But I'm sure over the next couple of days I'll have to have it out. So I'm kind of expecting that. 
But for now, I'm going to enjoy this hike, this beautiful weather. Should be coming up on the first point of this trail where it actually divides. It would go out to Site 3 or Site 1. We're going to be heading towards Site 1, of course. That should be very soon. Well guys, I've made it to site, at site one now. It's actually much improved. I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, I don't know if hikers have done this or if it was, you know, the people who maintain the trail here. This is a new fire ring. This site is actually the very first site that uh, Jenny and I stayed in. It's the very first site I ever stayed in at Zaleski. And in fact, uh, right over here is where it actually used to be. They've moved it here where it's a little bit flatter and cleared it off. And then, like I said, put this fire ring in. There is actually a trail now that runs. There's a site down there. Uh, if you remember correctly, you may not have seen it because it was a, quite a few years ago. The video where we did come in the very first time, um, there was a gentleman that actually was staying down there. That site's really nice. I'll show you, to, show you that here in a little while. We may even go explore out this direction because it looks like there's a trail that goes out this way and I'm banking that there may even be some more sites out there. Uh, and this looks like it's actually been made, uh, you know, by the forestry department. So it's kind of cool. Uh, they actually have renamed and dedicated this uh, whole trail system to a, uh, a lady. Uh, she was 21 years old when she passed. I'll have to look it up and everything. I'll give you a story here in a little while about it. Uh, I noticed it at the kiosk uh but we'll go over it and they've renamed the entire trail system in her honor and i was like that's really cool uh she looked like you know somebody was kind of involved in the forestry and stuff like that but she was only 21 so that's kind of sad but you know they were talking about you know she lived a full life and was dedicated to uh the area and things like that so i didn't get a chance to read it fully because there was a couple of people standing there and i just kind of bypassed them they actually were getting their uh, their vehicle and leaving when I uh, I was coming in. So, but I'm got the packs off, got everything kind of pulled off of me, kind of cooling off. The breeze is coming in. I'm starving. I'm gonna get me some lunch. I'm at least gonna get my uh, rain fly up for my hammock, and then I'll probably go fill up on water. And we might walk around a little bit, take a look at the area, see what they've uh, done with the uh, backpacking sites in the area. So I pretty much got site set up. Got a couple of extra little things to do, but nothing major. But really quick, before it uh, gets too much later, I'm out of water completely and I'm pretty thirsty. So I'm gonna go ahead and head down here. I've got three and a half liters worth of uh, bottles. I'm gonna fill it all up so I don't have to come back down tonight. That'll be more than enough. I probably have plenty for tomorrow. But I uh, just figure I'd go ahead and fill it up since that's the capacity I have. And it's not like I'm carrying it on trail. But I'll go ahead and do that real quick. It is actually about 15 after 5. I did take my time coming up in here. It took me about two hours to hike about two miles. 
guys I recommend not coming out if you have strep throat or any type of element uh, it, it was a little rough a uh, little short of breath uh, my sinuses are draining uh, coughing but I ate guys I'm backpacking <laughs> If I hadn't got out for this trip right now, it probably would have been at least mid-June, maybe early June if I'm lucky. I may get another one in, but right now I was just tickled to get out here. And I knew this was my only chance, so I took it, even though I'm not feeling the greatest. Uh, don't have in the w anything in the way of medicine with me either, other than Benadryl, but that's not really going to cure any of the symptoms I have. That's literally... The only reason I care about Benadryl is if I have an allergic reaction to something, you know, anything like that. Uh, I do have a little bit of pain relief, like maybe fever reducer or whatever. I may have to take some of that, I don't know. I try not to do that on trail, but I may have to. Anyway, I'm heading over to the water source. They've improved this area as well. This used to be a very steep, slick walk right through here. There was no gravel. And especially if it rained, it could get really, really mud muddy. But it's pretty clear right now. And this is the water source here at Zaleski here at Site 1. So kind of cool. Don't have to worry about filtering too much. You know, these are actually filled by the city. So, you know, you can filter if you want to, but you don't really have to. I never have. That's just a personal preference. Anyway, I'm going to get this water. We'll get back up to Site. Probably get me a little snack and then we'll do dinner very shortly, probably in the next couple hours. This is where you come up to site one from uh, the Hope Schoolhouse as well as the furnace. And of course you go out that way, that's towards site two. Your water's there. It's a little trail, I'm not sure where that goes, but it's not part of the trail system itself. Then you do have, this right here is the site that we stayed at a long time ago. There was a whole ton of us up in here. We were here for one of my daughter's birthdays and it was kind of cool we stay at this site that site's new over there so that's kind of cool if you remember right back over here is the site that alex and i stayed at the last time we came in it's kind of small you can get a couple of hammocks in there and there is a small fire ring it's kind of cool 
you guys have seen it but they've definitely made some improvements that actually goes out to uh, road access it's a forest road uh, you know to where they bring in the water and come up in here and do the improvements they've done that's a pit toilet you guys have seen that as well but I'm trying to kind of just show off some of the improvements this goes up to where we're at you've got this site here out that way is the main site which is a larger site we'll look at that tomorrow or whenever we go past it. I'm not just determined if I'm going to, go to site two tomorrow or site three whichever way we still will have to pass that site in the next couple of days but like I said you come up to here this is pretty nice and uh, this little trail leads up to where I'm at today and where we're going to be enjoying the night okay of course you've seen my site let's walk out this way just for a minute see if we see anything this one's cleared right there right through a tent now I don't know if this goes anywhere as far as the site goes I know if you go a little bit further back this way there is a basically it's a ridge and it goes down into a valley wow, this goes way, it does go way back I'm not seeing anything let's, this could possibly be a site right here guys let's take a look there's a little fire pit someone's made you can tell they've had a tent in here right through here probably some type of tent a little fire pit and of course small trees for hammocks you know depending on how much you weigh and the wind <laughs> yeah probably probably more of a tent site but you know definitely isolated back up here in the woods kind of cool and you can tell people use it because like I said the path is worn and that's bare I mean they probably use it more for tents than anything actually wouldn't be a bad site if you had a tent so I guess let's head back to the site guys and check check out getting a little bit of a snack pretty good stack it's just a little bit of cheddar jack cheese and um, some pre-made bacon that you can get at the store you, know, you either microwave it or just eat it straight out of the package it's not too bad to have on trail it's a little bit extra weight I normally do it the first day especially if I'm not doing a longer hike like I didn't do a long hike today so pretty easy to make on trail decent to you know eat a lot of times i'll put ranch in it or mayonnaise i just didn't care today so <laughs> woods awful quiet except for the birds and i haven't seen anybody since i left the trailhead so it's gonna be a quiet night other than we got a feeling we're gonna see rain the, the clouds are coming in pretty thick it's all white right now but it won't take it long to turn darker I did bring my bigger rain fly for my hammock. It's it's actually 12 feet long and everything, so should stay pretty dry. Um, shouldn't have any problems, even if it gets windy. I've got it strapped down four corners, got it pretty low to the hammock, so I should be pretty decent tonight. And anytime it rains during the trip, guys. So guys, it's about 15 to 7 now. Getting a little bit later in the day. Sun's starting to go down. Uh, I believe it goes down at uh, 8. 20 actually it should be on my watch hang on yeah 829 so about 830 so I still got you know basically a good couple hours of daylight 
you know, and then it'll get dusk and get dark. But uh, I'm walking over to the water fountain. I'm gonna rinse my hands off really good. They're pretty nasty. I did cut up a little bit of wood. I don't know if I'm gonna make a fire, but it's there if I decide I want to. Wasn't a lot laying around, and I wasn't feeling the greatest to go hunt for it. So it's not like I'm gonna die of, you know, being cold tonight. <laughs> still pretty warm uh, according to AccuWeather it is actually 83 degrees right now very peaceful night um, I haven't seen anyone I'm kind of surprised I, I mean Zaleski is very popular it's normally crowded even during the week so I guess the rain showers have scared people off I full-on expected at least one or two people to if nothing else walk by so kind of night of solitude guys I'm not going to complain So real quick before I get ready to kind of end the night, got a small little fire started. Probably won't go too long. It's more to get rid of the bugs because those mosquitoes were killing me. 
but this is the setup I have. Uh, this is a pretty large rain fly. It's a 12 by 10. You can get it. It's a generic brand. Uh, basically, look for this type of symbol in the corner. Uh, th this particular brand they don't quote unquote make, but it's a generic brand that uh, you can get on Amazon. Any type of symbol here in the corner, it's the same thing. It's a 12 by 10. It works really well though. I've never had a problem. I've got it pretty close to the hammock. Kind of got everything battened down uh, just in case we do get a little bit of a rain shower or a thunderstorm tonight. But other than that, it's a very comfortable night, very quiet in the woods. Like I said, no one has come in. I'm kind of surprised. Guess, like I said, the rain must have scared him away. So it's going to be me tonight and solitude here at Zaleski. So guys, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Uh, the sun actually just went down. Uh, it's 8.32. Like I said, at 8.29 was the sunset. So that's over and done with. Honestly, uh, with the way I'm feeling and not feeling the greatest from being sick, I'm going to let this fire Peter do what it's going to do, and then I'm going to head to bed probably in the next hour or so. I'll probably be in the, in the hammock definitely by 10 o'clock. Uh, just... <laughs> just not feeling up to setting up and fighting with wet. The, the wood's a little damp so I'm just I really don't want to deal with it if this catches up and I get a little fire great if I don't I'm not stressing it it looks like it's trying to catch some but I didn't do a lot of work to it you know to get a good fire when it's when it's as wet as it is you do have to put a little bit more effort into it and I just do not have the energy today <laughs> But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Tomorrow's another day. Hopefully, I'll feel better. I've got more miles to go than I did today. Uh, but I am carrying a lot less weight, as you saw, all the food that I ate and everything. All that's off my pack. So that's going to make a big difference. Tomorrow should be fun. I did look at the weather tomorrow. There are sporadic showers. So I'll probably see some, a little bit of rain. But hopefully, a little bit more like it was today. If you guys did enjoy the video and enjoy the content here on the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, share. And if you have any comments, any questions, concerns, anything you want to just discuss with me or the community, uh, hit up a comment down below in the comments section. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. I try to do that within a couple of weeks, if at all possible. But for tonight, I'm going to sign off here at Zaleski State Forest, Site 1. Always remember to live your grand adventure to the fullest, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail in the morning. Take care.